to my nose. Give me a heart attack and I'm about snaking and I'm not touching the snake, you know? Yeah, I'm touching. It, it's not going nowhere. Nice and slow. I'm just choking the doggy. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I finished myself all the way up here. So I'm coming from Fern Gully, as you know, right? I was waiting on a taxi. I couldn't find a taxi. There, this driver, he, I, I believe he was a taxi. I wasn't, I'm not sure if it's a taxi. He doesn't have the license plate, but for my safety, I decided to take his license plate. I'm like, listen, I'm gonna take a license plate because I'm gonna trust this. Anyway, I got the ride and i said how much would you charge me to come all the way to Konoko falls he did a u-turn and dropped me all the way up here to Konoko falls which is attraction number six Attra we're, we're killing it attraction number six you have to drive up you have to drive up you can't you can't walk it it just doesn't work like you, you can't walk it i probably have to walk it down but I wouldn't suggest walking if you can get a ride from the town and then arrange a ride to, 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 to call so they can pick you up from the town that would be best because it's a good walk from the main road but it's right, it's right at the turn off near to Ocho Rios High School but this is attraction number six welcome again to the 12 Travels of Christmas series this is Kodoko Falls let's go it is beautiful it is beautiful Guys, <laughs> I am here And there's nobody here That's what the lady said The lady said she's falling asleep Because there's no one here I'm like, that's what I want I want to be here with no one here So I'd have to join in the line Which is perfect it is perfect timing for this place so <laughs> let's go this place has a really cool really cool 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 building so this whole establishment was once occupied by the Tainos the Tainos the Tainos the Arawaks those group of, group of people they first settled in St. Anne's Bay no they first settled in St. Anne's and this is one of those settlements that they were at I'm telling you, like this place is so maintained. It is crazy. It's owned by the guard, guard, the guardsman group. It is beautiful. I promise you, it's beautiful. I came here about three years ago, maybe four years ago. I don't know. 2019, and it looks even more spectacular than before. So it has garden. It has a garden. It has falls, it's, it's a very huge property. It has a lookout spot where you can see Ocho Rios from here. It has eating area. It has a little nursery like for birds, kind of. It has thing for animals, so you'll see parrots. Uh, I believe they also have turtles and crocodile or alligator. I don't know, one of, one of those, those things, you know? <laughs> I, I think it might be crocodile not sure but they have all of these things this is where I'm walking right now is right at the the parking lot then you make the right turn not at the post that you paid the money why is this flowing over yo they have water galore here man so yeah and you walk to the garden and it takes you all the way back down to all the way back down to the to where the falls is at. I'm gonna show you all of that. I don't know what's happening right here, but something next. See? It has showers of blessings and it's so clear. It is so clear and amazing, dude. Like, bro, please wash your hands. It is so well kept. So well kept. It is so well kept, man garden part of it I've seen where you face mask I get this is when you know it was one of those days when we had to wear masks <laughs> I think we can go in this but I'm not sure 
not planning to go in it to be honest not planning to but yeah give me things to review no no <laughs> The lady asks if we lost. <laughs> that is so funny. The lady asks me if I'm lost, honey. I want to see that side though. I'm gonna go. So it has so many. I'm gonna go there and then come back this side because it's so many things to see. But I kind of want to go here first. Hold on. So. They're growing cannabis sativa over there. I don't know why, but it says cannabis sativa. Get me? Jamaica corner. And then this is aloe vera. But I don't see any aloe vera in there. And I don't see any cannabis over there. I kind of want to see the birds. Let me go over there to see birds. Wah, wah, wah. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is nice. Oh, there are parrots in here. Hello. I think they, they took them over from Hope Zoo. Maybe some of these are from Hope Zoo. So guys, I don't know if you know, but the Garzman Group, they own, or they're part owners of Hope Zoo. So you will see some similarities from Konoko Falls that's at Hope Zoo and vice versa. The, the maintenance of the place might be the same. They probably use the same people, the same, they might, you know, use the same furniture, the same kind of setup. You will see some things there that are very similar um, to this whole place. Ooh, they have fishes in here. Fishes and they're beautiful. Let me show you. I feel like this is a this feels like a Disney park where there's so many there's so many different ways to get to, to different places it, it's like you don't know where to turn because this way turns to this place and this place turns to this place that's how I felt when I went to um, Universal Studios it was so much to see and so much to do oh Dr. Bird bro Dr. Bird Yo, I haven't seen these things in... And look how close I am, bro! Look how close! That is crazy! You see that? So guys, I don't know what kind of birds these are, but they're super noisy. Super, super noisy. Ooh. I had one of these at one point. Budgie. But I like I like the fact that they label everything, which is really cool. Uh, they're very noisy, very very noisy. Anyway, gonna go like water is just everywhere. Water is just pouring everywhere. Look at it. Water is just pouring everywhere. All right, so this is the shop. Oh, they also have a small museum here that you can explore. They have. Um, bathrooms they have um, the place that you can buy like shoes for for the falls what you call it water shoes and all of that so I'm gonna go into the, the maximum 10 people allowed in the museum a museum of like um, Thanos artifacts and I'm gonna go in it right now this is Ocherus 1860 Shaw Park Oh, I know there. Hmm, Pringles. Pioneer Pringles. That is crazy. You know what's funny? I thought that that name was very weird. I have one friend that is. No, I have two friends that their names 
the ending is Pringles. And I was, you know, like, that's just such a weird last name. So unusual. But I guess the Pringles are from the Pringles. Uh, where are they from? I want to say they're from England. You see, John Pringle built the first shopping center, tying up a place in Ocher Rios and was Jamaica's tourism. Where is he from though? Whoa, and this person, the father, is Sir John Pringle, was Jamaica's greatest banana, banana farmer. He bought most of Eastern St. Anne. Who bought it? Most of Eastern St. Anne, which his heir founded the Ocherius tourism industry. That is crazy. Prince got money, man. I, I still don't know where I'm come from, though. And not seeing a country it says you come from. But it's saying something about sugar and sugar and cattle. And he's probably from the UK. Probably from the UK. But yeah, there you can explore. You'll see. I'm not gonna show you everything that's here, but look at this. Henry Morgan, all of that. Like all the those are the history as it relates to um, a little part of slavery, of uh, things of Saint Anne, all of that birds history, uh, importance of watersheds and whatever Saint, Par Saint Anne's parish development. Uh, chances are some things of the Tainos are here, and Africans, a little bit of the Maroons. The Plantation Society, and uh, what is this? River Garden Museum, and the Arawaks, history of the Arawaks. They have a whole corner for themselves in here, and their settlement, and what they used to eat, natural habit, like everything is here for the Amerindians' migration and roots, and yada yada yada. Like, if you want to see or know if you're a history, history person, and you appreciate history from each cultures or each country you can also check out this part of the tour it's, i think it's worth it to be honest it's very worth it it has a lot and it's it's very worth it i think for the 2000 jamaican dollars that i paid to get in as an adult as a citizen if you're a u.s citizen if you're a well, u.s citizen, if you're not a jamaican citizen then it is 20 us better than mine um let's go to the falls god i love them so much they are so pretty Hel Hi. hello 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 <laughs> oh it's two of them in here i know these things Hello? Oh, this one tail is really, really long. Like, I wonder if you can fly away. Hello? This one's tail is really, really long. Why are their tails so long? And why do they have them in a cage, though? For attraction. You know what I'm interested in knowing? I'm interested in knowing who was the first person to decide that we should cage animals and have them for display i guess it's from all the way back to slavery days or even before that no 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 so where did i just walk through apparently i just did the garden this part is the actual falls um okay i guess you can come to the falls if you want and then come to the garden if you want to i don't know but let me show you Honest, I, I, don't, I did not remember this part of this whole thing uh, but yeah so they have the garden side and then they have the actual falls but on your way to the falls they have animals and snake and iguana and me not touch on any of them right now <laughs> that is creepy hold this one outside bro please ask for assistance I'm not touching this animal at all
to do something with that arm. You just have it no, just awkward. Not it. <laughs> no, the other arm. Oh, this one. Yeah, you just have it looking. <laughs> oh my god. One more. Hey. There you go. Please do not move. <laughs> See this man out. Give me a heart attack in a about snake, you know, I'm not touching the snake, you know. See him, him there on there, so him, him there on your, your neck, like yeah, you. He's not gonna do anything. Jesus. <laughs> you can touch him, you don't. Open your hand and touch him. It, it's not going nowhere. Nice and slow. I'm just choking the doggy. <laughs> no, I'm <my> good. <laughs> that's, I think that's fine for now. Yeah, we're not doing it. No, not. <laughs> not doing it. Sorry. It still it still feel mushy. I can't do that. Mm -mm. We're not doing it. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, you too. No, so we can't. Mm -mm. No. I touched it, right? That's all that matters. We don't need to do anything more. We don't need to do nothing more exciting like that. I touched the snake and all that matters. Oh, look at this. We have turtles here. They're just so chill. Oh, shoot. There's <laughs> someone in the right there. So. Hola. It is very alert, though. So, I don't need to wash my hand because I'm going to touch the thing there with my finger, touch the snake with my finger, and I need to wash my hands. I think they have crocodiles here too. Oh yeah. Do not throw anything in the pond. This is where the crocodiles are. I believe. I want to say this is one right here. Oh, he's real for sure. I'm not sure. Look at him. Like a crocodile, right? No, this is alligator. I'm real. 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 No, sir. The real are some are just. Oh shit! Him just. He <laughs> just moved. Rockstone. Yeah. Um. I'm tired. Am I open? Just closing it now. Is it is it is it a good environment for him to be here? <laughs> Yeah, this is nice. So, yeah, they take in. Um, this is a good lookout spot, you know, for ships coming in and you know, shut down people, right? It's still coming in. Yeah. This is very nice. And then the cruise ship, Carnival, you know how much time you see the ship to come out? Second time we see all, um, this week, you know. This is probably a more than one. Interesting. All right, main event, guys. Main event. We're gonna do the falls. Like, I'm not gonna take off my clothes and do the falls. I'm just gonna just go down there. I know people are gonna say, ah, oh, but you're not really enjoying it. I've been here before. And I'm not into like into the mood to like go to the falls like go down and you know so what I'm gonna do is just show you the path to the falls Alright guys, there you have it. This is the end of attraction number six. 
we are heading to now attraction number seven. This is the end of Konoko Falls. There are so many things here. Garden, falls, swimming pool, swimming pool for playing volleyball, um, lookout spot, um, animal interaction, food, bathroom, all of that. Now we're gonna head down and leave because this place is huge. This is the end of attraction number six. Signing out until tomorrow around this time. Mm.